Hey there, it's Russ from GFN Gaming. So we had a recent article about how the game would actually work in terms of turns. So I just thought we'd have a look at it now. So much like what people were expecting and anticipating and similar to Warcry, the game of Kill Team is now split into three phases, which is the initiative phase, the strategic phase, and the firefight phase. We also know that each game will last only four turns or turning points. Each turning point will start with an initiative roll. The initiative phase looks very familiar and is almost identical to the current kill team with a few changes. Each player will roll 1d6 with the highest die being the winner. In the subsequent initiative phases, the player that lost the previous initiative roll will have an advantage and will win ties. The strategic phase seems to be borrowed from current 40k and Age of Sigma, where there's the hero phase, the activation phase, the command phase, where you can basically do these big plays, these strategic ploys as they're called in Kill Team. We've only got one for an example, but let's have a look at it. Looking at the one we have, it costs 1 CP and seems to be a unique strategic ploy for the veteran guardsman. I won't read it out, but in short, it allows all LAS guns to be overcharged to gain AP1 at the cost of gaining the keyword hot. There's no indication currently of how many CP a commander will start with yet, though. I'd assume it will mirror 40k and that you will generate your CP during the strategic phase, but we don't know. It also notes that the player with the initiative gets to choose the order in which special abilities that would happen at the same time occur. Not sure if this impacts the strategic phase or not, but you would assume so. After the strategic phase, where commanders have used any strategic ploys to set up their operatives for victory, comes the firefight phase. Similar to the combat phase in Warcry, each commander will activate operatives taking turns to do so. This phase seems to comprise all types of actions and interesting that Psychic no longer has its own phase, which used to be a very strong part of a team with Psychers being active in an entirely separate phase. It would seem with its exclusion that Psychic attacks might be part of a Psychers unique actions and happen as part of the firefight phase now. During the firefight phase, there are also ways for commanders to spend their CP on tactical ploys, the baby brother of strategic ploys and similar to the current list of tactics, I'd assume. They are used as and when criteria for them are met, I'd imagine much in the same way tactics are currently used in Kill Team. Anyway, the article was an interesting look at how the actual game will play. How are you feeling about a three-phase game? Nothing about morale as of yet mentioned and no leadership stats, so it's looking good for a veto on the morale phase in Kill Team Octarius. Fingers crossed the Kill Teams in the new game are a bit more ride or die. Anyway, I'm still very excited for the new Kill Team and I'll see you in the next video.